All right, guys, here we go. We're going to be tying up a, um, we're going to call it the Badger Bugger, utilizing this new hairline flexi squish chenille. Um, and this is the Badger, which basically is just a, you know, that black core with the legs coming off of it. Um, this is a TMC 5263, <clears throat> size four, with um, a bunch of O2 O lead wire behind it and a little orange cone. So, we get rolling here. Okay, so for the tail on this thing, I'm going kind of a thin mint style, um, brown, olive, and black, woolly bugger marabou. I'm just gonna kind of stack these on top of each other, get them all lined up. And. Later. See you guys. See ya. Okay, we're gonna just lay those right about there. Start tying those in. And I usually on a woolly bugger like these things about like my tail about the length of the body. So you can kind of measure that out. <clears throat> Tying it right to where that bend starts. Okay. And that was quite a bit of lead um, that I put underneath here. And that is pretty much just because all of these materials are really, really pretty buoyant. So, um, and this is just a brass, you know, pretty nothing to it, brass cone. So <clears throat> that lead wire will just kind of help it break the break the surface tension. Okay, next up, I'm gonna go some flashaboo here. This is just gold flashaboo, just pretty standard gold flashaboo. Um, I'm gonna tie three strands on one side. Get those all. Set there, three strands on the other. I'm just going to tie those back. Just for a little bit more, just for a little bit more flash. Okay. I'm going to trim those just past the tail, just like a quarter inch past the tail. Um, and now, I'm going to do this pretty standard woolly bugger style. So I'm going to go um, just a short length of small silver wire. And that really won't even show up in the fly. It's basically just for the uh, counter, counter ribbing once I tie my hackle in. Okay. So now comes the squish kneel. Squish, squish kneel. All one word. Pretty cool stuff. They make it in all kinds of different sizes and colors and um, you know, the badger, like this is just the micro non-badger squish chenille and shrimp pink. You can do all kinds of crazy stuff with it. Um, and they go micro, small, medium, which is what this stuff is. And then all the way up to large. So um, I'm just gonna kind of pull off some of this material, exposing that chenille core Tying that in. Make sure that stuff's nice and locked. Um, I really would advise against using super glue underneath, um, you know, underneath the body on this stuff because super glue and these Life Flex wrap, um, Life, Life Flex style of legs will really it messes up those legs quite a bit. It'll kind of burn them and make them kind of a funky, funky uh, shape. So we're just gonna start wrapping this stuff up. You can kind of space those wraps out just to get a little bit more sparse body, which I didn't really do there. This stuff's pretty thick. I'd probably, we don't have any of it here, but I'd probably go small on this, um, on this size of a hook for this stuff this would this medium would be really good like for um, like a redfish fly or um, something like that but I think small might be a little bit better for 
what I'm trying to do here, but you get the gist. This is pretty much just to show you this cool new material. Okay, now I'm gonna just take another, um, or a badger, you know, badger hackle feather. This is just from a bugger pack, from a whiting bugger pack. <clears throat> Doesn't really matter what, what color you use here. Um, I'm gonna just jam the stem of that feather underneath the cone. I don't know if you can see that, I'll do it on this side. So I, I go underneath the cone, just like that. Try to find a nice open spot. That'll have to do. That way I know that I'm getting the, actually tying onto the stem. Okay, give that a bunch of lashes down there. Now I'm gonna go give that one, two right in front, and then just start working back here. Working back, back, back. Um, hackle pliers would help here, for sure. <laughs> okay, all the way up there. I'm gonna just take my wire and see which way do I need to go that way just counter wrap this stuff all the way back up some of these fibers might get a little trapped that's okay you can use you know like a dubbing brush or any kind of any kind of uh, dubbing teaser or anything like that just to free up some of those fibers I went real short on the wire so we're going right up to it perfect there we go Okay, and just tie this off. I'll find that wire and deal with it. It's buried somewhere. Okay, now we're just gonna go a little whip finish, a couple turns. I will put some super glue up towards the front of this, just up kind of up in the cone there. Um, and there you have it. That is the hot bead or hot cone badger bugger. Oops, pluck that guy off of there. Um, yeah, and like I said, for this size of fly, that's a size 4, 52, 63 TMCO. Um, you might try a small, but this stuff is really, you know, they call it squish chenille for a reason. It's really pretty squishy and, um, you know, that clearance right there in between the, in between the gap and that, um, or in between the point and the, you know, all that material really won't block a fish getting hooked. So anyway, give this stuff a, sh a shot here. Um, we'll have some other videos with different sizes and colors and that kind of thing. But uh, yeah, try it out. Let us know how it goes. Thanks. <laughs>